This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 1039, Five Ways to Be Productive When Working From Home, by Julie Morgenstern of juliemorgenstern.com. And I'm Dan, I am your host of the show, and I'm here with you every single day reading posts from some of the best in the business when it comes to entrepreneurship. And today we're gonna talk about something that has obviously become a huge deal over the last few years since the COVID pandemic, and that is working from home and how to be productive while you're doing it. So without further ado, let's get into it and start optimizing your life. Five Ways to Be Productive When Working From Home by Julie Morgenstern of juliemorgenstern.com. For many years, the business world has been wrestling with the logistics surrounding the adoption of remote work and implementation of flexible work hours. Never did we foresee that a global pandemic would have us scrambling to uncover the answers to these questions practically overnight. Without a clear roadmap to follow, many companies, individuals, and teams are struggling to navigate this dramatic change in circumstances. Daunting as the task at hand may be, The present situation provides a unique opportunity to find solutions to these age-old challenges. The key lies in creating functional systems and establishing a clear structure to your work week that facilitates productivity while putting guardrails in place to protect your personal time and space. Whether you are a work-from-home veteran or you've abruptly found yourself thrust into the world of telecommuting, you can use these tips to stay productive during this period and develop skills that will benefit you for years to come. 1. Designate a specific workspace. One of the best things you can do to ensure your own productivity is to designate a specific workspace in your home, a place where, once you sit down, you just know it's time to get to work. When possible, avoid your everyday living quarters, such as the kitchen, living room, or bedroom. It's best if those spaces can remain dedicated to relaxation during your time off. You will need to outfit your space with a strong internet connection, a clear work surface, a professional backdrop for video conferencing calls, and a good filing system for organizing work projects. Designating three separate folders or bins to divvy up the work, to do, in progress, complete, could do the trick and make quick cleanup a breeze. Two, structure the workday. Just because you can work anytime doesn't mean you should. In fact, when you're working from home, it's more important than ever to set the parameters for your workday. Creating a clear structure to the day with a specific start time, lunch time, and end time, will help ensure that you don't allow work to bleed into your personal time. As a general rule for ensuring your own productivity, consider subdividing and balancing your day between three distinct types of activity, quiet time to work on deep thinking projects, meetings, and response time to colleagues or clients. Three, simulate your daily commute. If you have trouble transitioning between work and home, Try simulating your daily commute. In times of change, relying on something familiar can be incredibly grounding. When you wake up, get dressed and go about your normal morning routine. No need to don a suit and tie. Business casual is fine. Now, travel thermos in hand. Replace your traditional drive, bus, or train ride with a quick walk around the block. Having left your home, you get to arrive back at work, heading straight to your workstation, ready for a productive day. When work is over, Pack up your things and take another trip around the block, arriving back at home where you can change into your loungewear and enjoy a relaxing evening. Sure, it's a lot of walking around the block, but the signal it sends to your brain and to others works. Four, create clear boundaries between work and home life. The quality of our time off has a direct impact on the quality of our work. But when life dictates that you live and work in the same place, it can be hard to find a place to relax. Just as you have designated a specific workspace, designate two to three areas in your house as purely home spaces. This will ensure that you always have a calm oasis for rest and relaxation. As a general rule then, you must do your best to avoid working in those spots. And five, use found time to your advantage. Every weekday, the average person spends anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours on a round trip commute. Working from home, That's a huge chunk of time back in your pocket. Use that time mindfully. Don't simply extend the workday or obsessively tend to extra housework. Instead, seize that time for the work-life balance activities you don't usually have time for, health, wellness, and family time. Establishing healthy habits now will provide you with a structure and routine that you can continue implementing when you eventually return to the office, safeguarding your productivity for years to come. 
As a final takeaway, remember, productively working from home is as much about getting the work done as ensuring we have a serene place to kick back and relax when the work is done. In other words, it's equally essential that we develop strong systems to organize our time and space as it is to establish routine self-care practices to combat isolation and burnout. Working from home necessitates that we organize both our work and our personal lives to maximize productivity and efficiency in everything we do. You just listened to the post titled Five Ways to Be Productive When Working From Home by Julie Morgenstern of juliemorgenstern.com. You're always looking for ways to improve the speed and organization of your work, but if you're still jumping between 50 tabs just to do your job, then maybe you haven't found the right tool yet. That's where Notion comes in. And today, I'm excited to share that they just launched Notion Projects, which includes new, powerful ways to manage projects and leverage the power of their built-in AI features too. Notion Projects combines project management with your docs, knowledge base, and AI so you can stop jumping between tools, stop paying too much for them, and use automation to help you succeed. In just one workspace, you can do everything you need to get your projects over the finish line, from brainstorming to drafting launch plans to organizing sprints and keeping everyone on deadline. Do your most efficient work with Notion projects. You can try it for free today at notion.com slash OSD. That's all lowercase letters, notion.com slash OSD. And when you use our link, you're supporting our show. So go right now to notion.com slash OSD. If you run a successful business and you're looking to automate your workflow, listen up because NetSuite by Oracle has just rolled out the best offer we've ever seen. NetSuite gives your business everything you need to reduce manual processes, boost efficiency, and increase productivity across every department. So I just love that you're not only getting visibility and control, but also the power that comes with having all of your information in one place. And for the first time in NetSuite's 22 years as the number one cloud financial system, you can defer payments of a full NetSuite implementation for six months. That's no payment and no interest for six months. It's time to join the more than 36,000 companies that have already upgraded to NetSuite. If you've been sizing NetSuite up to make the switch, then you know this deal is unprecedented. No interest, no payments. Take advantage of this special financing offer at netsuite.com slash startup. netsuite.com slash startup to get the visibility and control you need to weather any storm. netsuite.com slash startup. And thanks so much to Julie, who is an organizing and productivity consultant, New York Times bestselling author and speaker. For over 25 years, Julie Morgenstern has been teaching people all around the world and at all stages of life how to overcome disorganization to achieve their goals. She is the inventor of the inside-out approach to organization and the brain behind their services. She's got a bunch of great articles just like this one and much, much more on her website, juliemorgenstern.com. So please check that out. And uh, once again, thanks so much to Julie for letting us share her work regularly here on the show. And that's gonna do it for today. I thank you so much for being here and also for clicking subscribe or follow in your podcast app. That really helps us out. So I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.